hello my dear friends i welcome you all to our channel best note tutorials and till now we have completed day 10 mcqs from uh, day 1 to day 10th so today we are dealing with day 11th and uh, i hope the question answers are giving you all some confidence for the examination so let's begin friends Let's begin with 11th day's MCQs. Till now we have completed day 1 to day 10th. Now we will continue with 11th and uh, 12th as well. So without wasting time, let's begin. Who called Spencer as our sage and serious poet? Whom I dare be known to think a better teacher than Scouts or Aquinas. Here your options are John Keats, John Milton, Samuel Johnson and Dryden. Here your answer is option B that is Milton. So let's see the highlighters. Milton in his Aeropagitica called Spencer our sage and serious poet whom I dare be think to think I dare be known to think a better teacher than Scouts or Aquinas. Charles Lamb called him poet's poet. Rickett remarked Spencer as child of Renaissance and Reformation. According to Ben Johnson, Spencer died at the age of 46 for the want of bread. C.S. Lewis said Spencer was one of the great sonneteers. Dryden remarks that Shakespeare himself might not have achieved so much if Spencer had not lived and labored. W.B. Yeats called Spencer the first salaried moralist. Pope compared Spencer to a mistress whose faults we see but love her with them all. Ben Johnson opined that Spencer writ no language. Thompson referred to Spencer as my master Spencer. Wordsworth praised Spencer as the embodiment of nobility, purity and sweetness in his The White Door of Rillstone. Or the faith of the Nortons, a long narrative poem. Question number two Induction and Buckingham's Complaint were two great poems written by option A. Thompson Norton, option B. Sackville, option C. Sydney, option D. Spencer. So here your answer is option B, that is. Sackville. Sackville has written Induction and Buckingham's Complaint. Let's see the highlighters. Sackville's two great poems are Induction and Buckingham's Complaint, which were published in the Mirror for Magistrates in 1563. The play and the two poems make Sackville one of the major English poets and playwrights. Samuel Richardson has adopted the name of his noble Pamela from which of the following work? This is question number three. Now your options are option A. Arcadia, option B. Joseph Andrew, option C. The Defense of Poesy and option D. As You Like It. So your, your option A is the correct one, that is Arcadia. Arcadia is the work from where he is inspired. He adopted and inspired to get the title. Let's see the highlighters. Arcadia was published in 1580 and it is a romance in prose written, wrote to entertain his sister Mary Herbert, the Countess of Pembroke, early version called old arcadia he himself edited it and the new version is called new arcadia 
in 1593, Mary Herbert herself published an edition of Arcadia called The Countess of Pembroke's Arcadia. This work is often called tragicomic. Tragicomic in five act, it contains several eclogues. Samuel Richardson has adopted the name of his novel Pamela from here. Question number four. The play The Jew of Malta opens with a prologue narrated by Option A. Macaville Option B. Mandeville Option C. Dr. Foster's and Option D. Lucan Here Option A that is Macaville is correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Jew of Malta which was published between 1589 to 90 is narrated by Macaville. The play opens with a prologue narrated by Machiavelli, a caricature of the author Machiavelli. Machiavelli explains that he is presenting the tragedy of a Jew who has become rich by following Machiavelli's teachings. Some important char characters are Barbar Barabras, a Christian-hating merchant of Malta, his daughter Abigail, known for her beauty, Barabbas, slave an arabian named ithamor the christian governor of the island attempting to collect the tribute in a month he gave a judicial decision that the jew will have to give over half of their estate or become christian next highlighter is martin de bosco vice admiral of spain then we have lodovic the governor's son Matthias, Lodwig's friend, Bellamira, Ithamor fell in love with her, Fernes, the governor, and his wife Catherine. This play has major influence on Shakespeare's The Merchant's Ven Merchant of Venice. Notable quotes by Machiavelli are is sorry i count religion but a childish toy and hold there is no sin but ignorance let's move to question number five it is believed that all his pamphlets were an attack on option a shakespeare option b Mar marlowe option c chaucer and option d samuel johnson here shakespeare is the correct answer Robert Greene, one of the university wits, did his BA from Cambridge and MA from Oxford University. He was very famous for his pamphlets. Green, which was pub Greens, which is published in the year 1592. Groats, Worth of Wit in 1952, brought bought with a million of repentance in the year 15 1952. It is believed that all his pamphlets were an attack on Shakespeare. He published many journals as plays, romances and autobiographies, etc. Question number 6. Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay original title. Here, your options are, out of these four, what is the original title of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay. Let's see. The acknowledged history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay a comedy. The honorable history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay a comedy. The honest history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay a comedy. The horrified history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay a tragedy. So here your option goes with option B correct option goes with B that is the honorable history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay or comedy let's see the highlighters Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay was published in 1590 originally entitled the honorable history of Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay a comedy its sequel was John of Burdock's or the second part of Friar Bacon the history of Orlando 
Furioso in 1519. The history of Orlando Furioso in 1590, a looking glass for London and England, with Thomas Lodge in 1590. It counts, it recounts. Let's move to the next question. Question number seven Which among the following play criticized as confusing? fumble of theatrical nonsense option a the old wives tales option b sir climon and sir clamides the jew of malta and edward one here your option a is the correct one that is the old wives tale the old wives tales let's see the highlighters the old wives tales was published in 1595 it is a play the Old Wives' Tale is a novel also by Arnold Bennett published in 1908. It was his masterpiece satire on the popular drama of the day. He has used the theatrical device of play within a play. It is criticized as confusing fumble of theatrical nonsense and others have called it a fantastical comical, comic romance. The play has been identified as the first English work to, satir uh, to satirize the romantic dramas popular at the time. Question number 8. Hieronimo is a character in The Unfortunate Traveller, option A, The Spanish Tragedy, option B, Dido, the Queen of Carthage, that is option C, and option D, Robert Garnier's Cornelia. So here your option B is the correct answer. The Spanish tragedy. Hieronimo is a character in Spanish tragedy. Hieronimo is Mad Again, which was published in the year 1592. It is a revenge tragedy often referred to the work of Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, and Marlowe. It was staged at the Rose for Philip Henslow in 15. 92. Ben Jonson mentioned Hieronimo in introduction to his Cynthia's Revels, which was published in 1600 and quotes from the play in Every Man in His Humor in 1598. Thomas Decker suggested that Ben Jonson in his early days acted himself as Hieronimo. Keep this point in mind, friends. T.S. Eliot quoted the title and the play in his poem The Wasteland. I hope this Hieronimo is clear to you all. Let's move to question number 9. Which of the following is not correct about goodbye to Berlin? Option A. Goodbye to Berlin. Option A. The novel is a semi-autobiographical account, the author Isherwood. It was published, option B says, it was published together with Mr. Norris's Changes, Train, Trains and the Collection in 1945 called The Berlin Stories. Option C, half of the stories of this collection was collaborated with Auden. Option D, it is written as a connected series of six short stories and novelas. So here option C, that is half of the stories of this collection was collaborated with Auden is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Goodbye to Train was published in 1939. It is a novel which is, is semi-autobiographical and it describes pre-Nazi Germany and the people he met. It is episodic dealing with a large cast over a period of several years from late 1930s to early 1933. It is often published together with Mr. Norris Changes Trains and the collection in 1945 called The Berlin, St Berlin Stories. Here it is written as a connected Stories of six short stories and novelas, namely A Berlin Diary, Autumn. A Berlin Diary was published in Autumn 1930.
other such stories in that list are first one is a berlin diary second one is sally bowles on rogan island then the nowaks the land euro and a berlin diary is the last one so let's move to the question number 10 with Whitson High, sorry, Hug Auden, Isherwood wrote three plays, which among the following was not the part of their collaboration. Option A on Ryujan Island, Option B, Accent of FC, Option C on the Frontier, Option D, The Dog Beneath the Skin. So here your option A is the correct one, that is on Ryugan Island. Let's go towards the highlighters. With Winston, with Winston Hug Arden at Cambridge, he wrote three plays. The Dog Beneath the Skin, which was published in 1932. Accent of F6, which was published in 1936 and On the Frontier in 1938. Question number 11. Cakes and Ale is a novel by Magham. The title was taken from... Option A, Othello. Option B, Vanity Fair. Option C, As You Like It. And Option D, Twelfth Night. So here, Cakes and Isle are taken from Twelfth Night. That is Option D. Here, Cakes and Alley or The Skeleton in the Cupboard was published in the year 1930. Magham's novel, the title taken from the remark of Sir Toby Belch to Malvolio in William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. In Twelfth Night, the sentence appears as Dost thou think because thou art virtuous, there shall be no more cakes and ale. The story is told by a first-person narrator and a well-to-do author William Ashenden. The main characters are Alroy Keir, Mrs. Driffield and Edward Driffield. Question number 12. Which of the following Doris Lessing's novel starts with a cutting of newspaper article that says Mary Turner, a white woman, is killed by her black servant Moss for money? Options are Children of Violence, Option B, The Golden Notebook, Option D, Sufi Theme, and here your Option B is the correct one, that is The Grass is Singing. The Grass is Singing was published in 1950. Doris Lessing's first novel was published in 1950 and adapted into film The Killing Heat in 1981. The title is taken from the 15th line of T.S. Eliot's Westland. Let's see the highlighters. More. It takes place in South Rhodesia. It is now in Zimbabwe, in South Africa during 1940 and dedicated to Mrs. Gladys Madrop, Mastrop. It deals with racial politics between whites and blacks in that country during British colony, where the plot shifts to flashback of Mary Turner's past life up to her murder by Moses. It starts with a cutting of newspaper article that says, Mary Turner, a white woman, is killed by her black servant Moses for money and ends with the death of Mary Turner at the hands of Moses. The characters are Mary Turner, then Dick Turner, Moses, Slatter and Tony. Here Mary Turner is a happy and satisfied what Rhodesian woman, racist and uh, married to Dick Turner. Dick Turner is a white farmer. Because of poverty he refuses to give Mary a child. Moses a family servant of Mary. Slatter, a neighbor of Mary, Tony, 
was hired by Slatter to take over the charge of Dick's farm as Mr. Slatter. Let's move ahead. Here, question number 13 asks, asks the children of violence. The children of violence is the sequence of five novels. Is the sequence of five novels which of the following is not the part of it? Option A, The Wolf People, Martha Quest, Landlocked, Five Gated City. Here, option A, that is, The Wolf People, is the correct answer. Children of Violence was published in 1952 and uh, till 69. It is a sequence of five novels called The Children of Violence. Martha Quest is a character in all five novels. A Proper Marriage was published in 1954, A Ripple from the Storm in 1958, Land Locked in 1965, The Four Gated City in 1969. So here, I hope it is clear to you all. Let's move to question number 14. Question number 14 is asking to you all, the sea, the sea, the sea, the sea, is a novel by Murdoch which central with central character option A Charles Araby option B Mary Hartley Fit Fitch option C Mrs. Fitch and option D Hartley here option A that is Charles Araby is the correct option the C the C was written by Murdoch 19th novel published in 1978 and won the Booker Prize in 1978 itself. It is a tale of a strange obsessions that haunt a self-satisfied playwright and director as he begins to write his memoir. Murdoch's novel exposes the motivations that drive her characters the vanity, jealousy, and lack of compassion behind the guesses disguises the present, uh, the present to the world. Charles Araby, a central figure, decides to withdraw from the world and lives in seclusion in a house by the sea. Question number 15. In 2005, Muriel Spark got honoraries, honorary, honorary citizenship of Option A, UK, Option B, USA. Option C, Canada. Option D, China. So here, uh, option D, that is China, is the correct answer. Question, sorry, let's see the highlighters. Muriel Spark was born in 1918 and she died on 2006. Her full name is Dame Muriel Sarah Spark. Camberg was born in Brunsfield, Brunsfield area of Edinburgh. She was a Scottish novelist, short story writer, poet and essayist. After schooling, she taught English for a brief time and then worked as a secretary. In, 19, in 1939, she married Sidney Oswald Spark and followed him to southern Rhodesia, that is now Zimbabwe. In 1954, she decided to join the Roman Catholic Church. After, arrive, after living in New York City for some years, she moved to Rome. In early 1970s, she, along with Penelope Jardine, settled in Tuscany, China. In 2005, she got honorary uh, citizenship of China. She died in 2006. After the World War II, she began writing seriously under her married name, about poetry and criticism. In 1947, she became the editor of Poetry Review. The Comforters was published in 1957, which was her first novel. The Prime Minister of Miss Jean Brody, The Prime of Miss June Jean Brody was published in 1961, and uh, her novel received great success. This was her novel and it received great success. Question number 16. Which among the following novel of Muriel Spark 
have a theme of alienation, isolation and loss of spiritual values. Here your options are option A the driver's seat, option B the bachelor's, option C loitering with intent and option D curriculum vitae. Here Option A, that is, the driver's seat is the correct answer. The driver's seat, which was Muriel Sparks' novella, was published in 1970. It belongs to psychological thriller journal. It was advertised as a metaphysical shocker. Deals with the theme of alienation, isolation and loss of spiritual values. Let's move to question number 17. Question number 17 asks, A clockwork orange, a dystopian novel with the anti-hero protagonist is Option A. Joy Option B. Alex Option C. Alexander Option D. Girl Narrator Here, a clockwork orange it was Burgess' dystopian novel in satire. Alex, a 15-year-old anti-hero protagonist living in near future, dystopian England, was the leader among the drugs and refers himself as your humble narrator and Alexander the Large, also the narrator of the novel, raped two 10-year-old girls in the bathroom. F. Alexander is an author in the novel who was in the process of writing his magnum opus Clockwork Orange. At the end, Alex and his drugs broke into his house, beat him, tore up his work and then brutally gang-raped his wife and caused her subsequent death. Question number 18. Spirit Level is a poem written by Option A. Anthony Burgess Option B. Seamus Hine Option C. Ted Hugs Option D. Wordsworth So here Option B that is Seamus Hine is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Spirit Level was published in 1996. It is the first poem in the collection The Rain Stick to a Dutch Porter in Ireland. This poetry collection won Poetry Prize for the year 1996 Whitehead Award. Question number 19. Birthday letters explained the complex relationships of Option A. Hugs and Sylvia Plath. Option B, Hugs and Carol Orchard. Option C, Hugs and Asia Vivil. And Option D, Hugs Love Affair. So here, Option A, that is Hugs, Ted Hugs, that is. And Sylvia Plath is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters here. Birthday Letters Birthday Letters was published in 1998. His last poetic work won Forward Poetry Prize in 1998. It released only months before Hugg's death. It has 88 poems and widely considered to be Hugg's most explicit response to the suicide, suicide of his estranged wife Sylvia Plath in 1953 and to their widely discussed politicized and explosive marriage. It explained the complex relationship of Hugs and Sylvia Plath. It also discovered in 2010, Lost Letter describes what happened three years before her death. Let's move to question number 20. The poem is about a trip that Hugs made to the Jew and describes the animal in a Jew and their behavior. Here, in which poetry? The Thought Fox, 
the hawk roasting option d gaudete and option d the jaguar so here option d that is jaguar the jaguar is the correct option the poem the jaguar is about a trip that hugs made to the jew and describes the animal in a jew and their behavior so here let's see the highlighters the jaguar is about a trip that hugs made to the jew in the poem he describes the animals in a jew and their behavior it compares the apes parrots tiger lion and a boa constrictor to the jaguar which is an animal that lives differently to the others in a way that it views its life power off question number 21 my poems are not about violence but vitality is stated by option a ted hugs option b hardy option c pinter and option d keats so here option a that is ted hugs is the correct answer ted hugs says my poems are not about violence but vitality is stated by it ted hugs was born in 1930 and he died on 1998 edward james ted hugs is the full name of this poet who was born in yorkshire england to william henry and edith hugs he was an english poet and a child writer sorry children writer hugs was british poet laureate following john bedsman from 1984 to 1998 Hugs was married to American writer Sylvia Plath in 1956 until her suicide in 1963 and in 1970 Hugs married Carol Orchard a nurse and they remained together until his death He was being labeled as the poet of the wild writing only about animals he said that my poems are not about violence but vitality Sylvia Plath told about him the most rich and powerful since that of Yeats and Dylan Thomas. Wild West his early poems and a short story were published in 1946 in Grammar School magazine. Hugs first Hugs first published poem appeared in Chekwa Cheka sorry The Little Boy and the Season a poem written in 1951 published in Granta okay Granta under the pseudonym Daniel Herring The poem the poems The Howling of Wolves and Song of a Rat following Plath's suicide Hugs wrote poem to accompany Leonard Baskin's illustrations of crows in 1966 which became the epic narrative the life and song of crow the best known work of hugs ted and i a brother's memoir a memoir by his brother gerald gerald was published late in 1914 sorry 2014 2014 to which kirkus calls a warm recollection of a lauded lauded poet hugs first collection was the hawk in the rain in 1957 and the second collection was leopercle in 1960 which won the hawthorn den prize tale from ovid in 1998 won the whitbeard british poet book of the year prize Question number twenty-two: The Whitson Weddings is a collection of poems by option A. Sydney, option B. Yeats, option C. Auden, and option D. Philip Larkin. Option D. Here, Philip Larkin. Larkin. Option D is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. The Whitson Weddings was published in nineteen sixty-four, and here Philip Larkin's. 32 poems we can see which is published by favor and favor which establishes a we voice of collective outlook
the poem recount records the poet the poet's impression while traveling a long journey to london by train in this poem larkin describes a stopping train journey from paragon station on a whitsun saturday afternoon to london it contains some of his famous poems the whitsun wedding days mr blinley blinney sorry and arundel tomb describes the autobiographical element and describes the sight and sounds and that he saw in his journey from hull to london let's move to another question number and and that is 23 this work concerns steadies and routes distinctly different symbolic and thematic implications the homecoming the caretaker the birthday party the room here option a is the correct answer that is the homecoming homecoming was published in 1965 it is pinter's two act play written in 1964 but published in 1965 which won the tony award for the best play in 1967 The play sets in North London with five male characters namely Max, Sam, Teddy, Lenny and Joy and one female character Ruth that is that is Teddy's wife. This work concerns Teddy's and Ruth's homecoming which he distinctly different symbolic and thematic implication which has distinctly different symbolic and thematic implication. for question number 24 the play is regarded as the play is regarded as his absurd play and 20th century tragic comedy ending with some questions unsolved sets in a snug here your options are the last tycoon option b sleuth option c the servant and option d the room so here your option correct option is the room let's move ahead the highlighters of the answer the room is harold pinter's first play written and produced in 1957 it is an example of comedy of menace the play is regarded as his absurd play and 20th century tragic comedy ending with some questions unsolved sets in a snug stuffy rather down at hill bedshit with a gas fire and cooking facilities the play opens with rose having a non person dialogue with her husband both remain silent throughout the whole scene she mostly talks about the cold weather question number 20 the french lieutenant's wife by pinter based on the novel the french lieutenant's woman which was published in 1969 was written by option a john fowles option b stoppard option c james joyce option d colin kibber here option a that is john fowles is the correct answer The French Lieutenant's Wife was published in 1981. Screenplay written for film and appeared in 1981 based on the novel The French Lieutenant's Woman which was published in 1969 by John Fowles. The film intercuts the stories of two affairs Victorian period drama involving gentlemen paleontologist Charles Smithson and the complex and troubled Sarah Woodruff between the actors Mike and Anna playing a lead role in modern film society Friends by this we have completed today's MCQs as well I hope it is going to benefit you all and if you require notes just drop me a message to my number and number i have already given in the starting of the video till then we meet take care and uh, do the revision of other videos as well i wish you
all the very best for your upcoming examinations and happy dasera to everyone thank you